Well, it's being called a radiation event, and you know what? It could be making its way here to Oklahoma. Officials say a radiation leak happened sometime between February 11th and February 16th at the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant near Carlsbad, New Mexico. New at 6, News Channel 4's Ed Doney spoke with experts in this field, and Ed, what they're saying, not totally reassuring. They're saying we shouldn't worry yet. Yet is the key word, Kevin. The right. Department of Energy has confirmed a radioactive leak at this plant, which stores waste, we're told, from the production of nuclear bombs. But experts are hesitant to push the panic button right now. Could a radiation leak at an underground nuclear waste site in southeast New Mexico reach Oklahoma? It very much depends on the winds because plutonium and americium can travel a long way. Don Hancock talks to us via Skype from the Southwest Research and Information Center in Albuquerque. He says the radioactive chemical elements, americium and plutonium, were detected earlier this month more than half a mile from the waste isolation pilot plant near Carlsbad. The story appeared Sunday on reddirtreport.com and shows a map that indicates how far radioactive particles may have traveled, perhaps to Oklahoma. But in Don's opinion, People don't need to be immediately concerned that you're getting a lot more plutonium and americium in your soil or in your air in Oklahoma City now than what you would normally have. Don says that's because radioactive particles released into the air from decades of nuclear bomb testing can be found around the world. As with everything, it all depends upon the amount. Dr. John Nail, a professor of chemistry at Oklahoma City University, is not very concerned either. He points out that some smoke detectors contain one billionth of a gram of americium, and even healthy foods aren't 100 percent healthy. Most people will get more radiation exposure from eating bananas than they ever will from this New Mexico repository site. And the mayor of Carlsbad, New Mexico, told me the radiation levels detected so far are below EPA levels to ensure public health. The cause of that leak is being investigated, and Don tells us the Department of Energy, which did not return our calls, will have to wait two or three weeks before anybody can, can go underground and completely assess that situation. Guys, back to you. We know you'll update us, Ed. Okay, thanks.